MIGLIF, the Midline Image Guided Fusion Procedure, developed by Dr. Scott Schlesinger. Hearing repeatedly the fears and apprehension of patients saying how their friend or their family or they themselves had been through such a tremendous amount of pain and long recovery after lumbar fusion, I knew there was a need for some major advancement and some major new step forward in the field of, of spinal fusion surgery. And that's what led me to the strides to invent the midline lumbar inner body fusion procedure through this keyhole opening. Debilitating back pain combined with tingling numbness or even additional pain that radiates to the buttocks, legs, and feet may be the result of compressed or damaged nerve roots in the spinal cord. Surgical intervention is sometimes necessary. Fusion surgery is traditionally performed through a large skin incision and usually requires the stripping away of muscle and other soft tissue to gain access to the spine. The MIGLIF procedure utilizes a keyhole incision, limiting the amount of soft tissue destruction and respecting much of the surrounding anatomy. With the aid of a high-definition surgical microscope, the bone impinging the compressed nerves is carefully removed. Years of degeneration may also lead to a collapsed disc space, another contributor to pain. The Velocity implant uses expandable technology to restore normal disc height, aiding a better alignment. The patient's own graft is injected, promoting the body's normal healing process. To provide stabilization, specialized screws designed for minimally invasive procedures are placed through the same keyhole incision using advanced imaging technology and a novel trajectory when compared to traditional techniques. Unique to the midline image guided fusion procedure, the MIG rod features architecture designed to provide both compression as well as an optimal fit. Once the rod is locked into place, breakaway tabs are removed and the other side secured as well. My life was miserable. I had been to other neurosurgeons, had had a previous surgery that failed completely. And then I was referred to Dr. Schlesinger. I walked into the clinic and I felt a confidence. I was greeted with a smile. The nurses, when we went back, were ever so kind. They had me come in a few days before the surgery. I had a complete physical. The procedure entailed a fusion of part of my lumbar spine. Dr. Schlesinger and his staff made certain that I was kept comfortable, and I was comfortable. I was out of bed and walking the first day, and I was relatively pain-free. It has been seven months since my surgery, and my life is fantastic compared to what it used to be. The surgery was a gift, a true wonderful gift. When a patient decides to see us at Legacy Neurosurgery, it truly is an honor. They chose us, so we want to make sure that they are completely comfortable that they are in good hands, that they can call us with any questions at any time. I work with a very talented team from the front desk to the surgeons. Our goal is to make sure that the patients are happy and in excellent care. When a patient is preparing for surgery, they will go get lab work done. If it's outpatient surgery at our Legacy Surgery Center, then we will give them a lab order. They'll go to the hospital of their choice we can catch any lab work that may be out of range. And then once they're in the clear, then we'll proceed with surgery. So unfortunately, sometimes surgery has to be postponed due to abnormal lab work. We have an in-house physical therapist that will see every patient when they come in. And then we can give them a physical therapy prescription. From there, if they live further away from Little Rock, that they can take to their physical therapy location of their choice. Candidates for lumbar fusion, whether open standard fusion operation or through our minimally invasive approach, are people that have some crack in their foundation of support of their spine. And typically, most commonly, this is a condition called spondylolisthesis, 
which means essentially a crack in the spine and a slippage of the spine. Many patients that are discovered to have a, a crack in their foundation uh, will end up seeing various doctors before I've seen them. And many people are just simply unaware that, uh, that I uh, or any neurosurgeon does uh, spine surgery. I think you're a brain surgeon and, and that is true. Uh, and that skill set has uh, enabled me to develop this minimally invasive spinal surgery uniquely by being a brain surgeon, but uh, it also has allowed me to perform this, what has traditionally been a very large open operation and transformed it into brain surgery, if you would. In this surgery, smaller really is better. It is truly better to have a, a small approach to having your foundation uh, problem in your spine fixed. There's much less tissue trauma under the hood of this minimally invasive inner body fusion operation than patients who've had the open standard procedure. You are able to return to your normal life, playing with your kids, playing tennis, golf, returning to work, returning to your normal life much quicker. And it's a true giant leap forward for you, the patient.